Today, my friends, is the beginning of a whole new era for the land of the rice and snow. Our Han, Norse, Chinese, Germanic combo playthrough. You could call it season two. I'm not going to call it season two. It's kind of a soft reboot with some big ideas coming from the comment section yesterday. Now, there has been a, a kind of sort of Damocles hangover this campaign for quite a long time now. A, a big shadow that has driven this campaign into a very particular path. It's pigeonholed it. It's been the blinders on the horse of fate. What a horrible metaphor. And that is, of course, the, the bloodthirsty raiding religion that this AI is designed for us. So, so all those years ago, however many years ago it was now, we had King Arnie, the dragon of Sweden, creating one of the most bloodthirsty religions I've ever seen in CK2 simply because there was a strange bug, a strange interface bug, because of a couple of incompatible mods, locked us out of it entirely, but of course gave this AI all the keys to the kingdom, and what he gave us in return was something ridiculously overpowered, and again, ridiculously bloodthirsty. We've got prepared invasions, river navigation, raiding for loot, we don't mind if our levies are raised, we get 20% levy size, we ignore defensive attrition, etc, etc, etc. You get the raiding, the seafaring, all of that. And, of course, Bloodthirsty Gods too. And I think the big problem with that is that it, it, it has overshadowed everything else that we've got in the campaign right now. The religion is so over the top, but so central to everything you do in the game, of course, that even with our random backstory generator, if we roll a religious character, well, we're burning people now. If we roll a martial character, we're burning people now. If we roll a diplomat, there's not a huge amount we can do. And I mean, the stewardship character, too. When you're out there fighting for trade posts, doing whatever it is you do there, you're still going to be burning people, right? So, I think it's time for a change. And I've taken all of your suggestions. Of course, brought this up in yesterday's episode. I have taken all of your suggestions from the comments yesterday. And uh, things may be changing around here. And that's all I'm going to say. We are, of course, playing as Prince Mayor Frederick Godslayer. Our first kind of truly religious character, uh, a guy who I think his random backstory that, again, we get from the generator down in the description said something specifically like he wanted to bring the religion to the darkest corners of the world or something like that. In that case, we are this this kind of combo raider and proselytizer and a, and a theology-focused character. We've been going around gathering the holy sites or at least positioning ourselves to gather the holy sites. Currently have one over in Denmark. And we're going to carry on with that goal today, of course, doing many, many holy wars across the whole of uh, the the British Isles there, the British and Irish Isles. So let's see what we can do. Now, I think, uh, how are we looking in France right now? I think, if I'm not mistaken, we no longer are... Oh, that's right, the truce was expiring, but hadn't expired quite yet. 9th of March, okay, we've got three years. Wait, did we go to war with them again? I could have sworn that was almost expired yesterday. So we got a pop-up. Maybe I'm going crazy. That too. So, let's carry on. Wait. Am I going mad? Has it rolled back? Because I think we got Cumberland by the end of yesterday, didn't we? Okay. Well, that turns out that's really annoying. Uh, Yeah, no, we, we did in fact play up yesterday to 10.09. And for whatever reason, it's rolled back. There, there are no Steam Cloud saves. There are nothing. It's just... It's just straight up gone. Like, there aren't even any auto saves from from yesterday. You see, we've only got all the way up to essentially. It's like yesterday's episode didn't save at all. Very weird. Like, no auto saves or anything. It's very bizarre. Anyway, doesn't really matter. I will play us up, but you can't really guarantee the things are going to happen in the same order. Regardless, it doesn't matter. I think maybe there's something big that's going to happen regardless. We will, of course, still aim for our. Holy sites. Maybe we'll do things a little bit differently today how we did yesterday. Of course, we, we managed to holy war Cumberland, and I think that was it. And then we want to clap the Pope a little bit. Not not a huge amount was achieved, to be honest. Maybe instead we will just focus down on those holy sites then. We are waiting for the truce with France, but we could always speed that up a little bit. Seeing as right now, and right now I think in fact France hold four of our holy sites, right? Uh, yeah, they've got all four. If the Queen of France were to die... Would that have any impact on on the whole world? That would all split, right? Because it's all gavel kind. If we were to kill her, 
it would split and allow those holy sites to be grabbed by one perhaps very talented Icelandic ruler. That could work quite well in our favor. And maybe that's exactly what we'll go for. Yeah, so normally I would, of course, absolutely apply us back up to where we got up to there. Ah! Oh, once again, the head priests and diviners have failed to predict a disastrous season of weather and warfare, leaving hundreds dead and even more starving. This is but the latest in a long string of events eroding the authority of Vilka Astrid, with some now daring to openly call the Reformation nothing more than a power grab by a foolish king and others threatening outright rebellion unless the Vilkara is dismantled. Wow. All reformed Germanic provinces gain religious unrest, and all reformed Germanic rulers may become less zealous and uh, or become cynical. That will affect us. Okay, we, we dodged it. We're still zealous. We still believe in whatever it is we happen to believe right now. Like I was saying, I will play us back up to where we were, but unfortunately today happens to be one of those days where I have absolutely no free time whatsoever. Uh, barely any time to just do a regular episode, unfortunately. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna plow on. A little bit disappointing, I know. It does essentially mean that everything we did yesterday was a write-off, but... I think it should be fine regardless. We can catch up to what we did yesterday pretty damn fast without standing on too much ceremony. I'll try and recreate what we did as fast as possible here. So we killed this hideous beast of a man. And then we grabbed Cumbria, if I'm remembering correctly. So this will take all of about two seconds to catch up to where we were. I was not recapping yesterday, of course, because... Well, because there was away for a week, right? Stellar divination. Thank you. Let's get in there. Let's clap some... English cheeks. And of course, we set ourselves up for the wolf warriors too. That's very annoying. We were just about to get... Uh, oh, silver ingots, of course. We were just about to be able to kick off our legendary gathering for the wolf warriors too. So that is a bit disappointing. They bring out a series of precious books. I will not be translating those because I have enough clutter in my inventory. Thank you. Let's start adding up to the war goal now. Ah, this guy has converted to the Germanic faith. Fantastic. Thanks for letting me know. Ah. Oh. Who could this man be, I wonder, even? Your guards burst into the throne room, dragging behind them a man and a piece of parchment. This man was found outside the castle gates, hammering up this, the guard proclaims, showing you the piece of paper clearly too distant to read. It is nearly a hundred criticisms of the Filcora. The court shuffles awkwardly, knowing full well that the Filcora and the Germanic faith itself have been a subject of discontent for quite some time now. You let out a hefty sigh. Well aware that something must be done to calm the discontent around the priesthood, a public execution then could set a precedent for other heretics. My liege, begins the man. I know you're a man of the gods. Look at what I have written and you will know it to be the truth. Shall we say... <clears throat> shall we say... Before choking, bring me this parchment. Or shall we say burn him? Shall we burn this, this quite frankly, obscenely overpowered man who is... I, I assume, <laughs> I assume randomly generated and just happened to be freaking ridiculous. Or, or do we take the parchment and become cynical? Wow, maybe he has a point. I mean, episode after episode, right? We've had the Filka, how many times now? Maybe four times in a row fail the divination and we've had to pay hundreds of gold every single time to protect the realm. Not necessarily failed the divination, but in argument over what the divination could mean, and we've just paid the gold to set the realm. Not necessarily wrong, but we don't know that they were right. And the point is, it's chaos, it's discontent, and it's costing us money. And we're in a republic right now, damn it. Maybe we should lose a little bit of faith in the Filka. I mean, she is looking a little peaky these days, I'll be honest. Uh, unworthy priest. Minus one monthly, oh dear. Very inappropriate for a public position. And of course, we were going to try and vassalize her. Even now, she's still not up for it. Again, maybe when she becomes Han or of the North Germanic, she will change her mind. But what if she doesn't? Then what? You know, we've given away our temple to this character who is refusing any help we're trying to offer her. You didn't even have the Filker's crown. You genuinely don't have the Filker's crown. Maybe you only get that if you become temporal. Uh, Phil Kier. Nothing. Okay, so I guess the crown only exists if you name yourself the head of the religion, which is very bizarre. You know what? I'm going to trust this suspicious man. Bring me that parchment. Let's see what we can do. We did become cynical, but I suppose that will just match the rest of our realm. I'm kind of curious how many people that clapped. Uh, you got away with it. You're fine. What about you? Uh, he's zealous. Okay, so he's he's fine. Uh, this guy is cynical. 
Well, that's really going to cause a wave, huh? Well, you know what? Not that many converted. Oh, I say converted. Not that many became cynical. This guy did as well. More cynical than not. Okay, well, that's that's weird. That's weird. We'll see what happens here. Oh, Counselor Duo has died. My poor guy. Okay, let's get uh, Grant Ting here of House Jesterian. Get in here. Help me out, my friend. Who are we going to have look after the artifact then? Of course, the artifact we got was the arm of a... Uh, what is it? The arm of a, a warrior or something like that? You gotta look for the artifact. Maybe we'll get something better this time. If we get a rare artifact, we can get some pretty insane stuff. Stuff that didn't spawn when the game started, basically. We do lose a little bit of progress, though, because we had to reassign the Chancellor working on it. Which does suck a little bit, but nothing that we really could have done about that. Oh... After many grueling days of study and deliberation over the nearly 100 criticisms of the Filka, you can't help but feel this priest may be onto something. His words on the reformation of the faith to suit one Scandinavian king particularly resonate with you. Could it be that your ancestors agreed to defile to defiling the Germanic faith simply to conform with the demands of a more powerful lord? It must be so. The faith that you profess to follow is nothing more than the creation of a madman seeking power. With mainland Scandinavia long since lost to the servants of the papacy, the Germanic religion and the Hanors people have become indivisible. And thanks to your influence, this could be the beginning of a true religious reform. Whoa. Thank you. You've done a, done a great job, I hope. We must rebuild from the beginning. The entire Germanic realm returns to the old ways and preparations for the new doctrines begin. A decision will be unlocked, allowing a particularly influential Hanors Germanic pagan to reform the religion. Not necessarily us. If the AI can do it, the AI is welcome to go for it. The old ways were the true ways. The entire Germanic realm returns to the old ways rather than this fucking mess of a religion that a random Swedish king came up with. Or, this is far too great a task. We throw the parchment in the fire and continue on as normal. Wow. What a great decision you've offered us here, my good friend L Liu Thor. Uh, we must rebuild from the beginning. I mean, how can I not take the decision? Uh, as if I don't know what it's going to lead to. <laughs> Godi Yanchong uh, has usurped the temple from this guy. And here we go. Giant religious upheaval here. Wow. This could take a little while. So I'm just going to use the use a shortcut just to skip over all that. Thank you very much. And there it is. Begin reforming the Germanic faith. Well, the key Germanic holy sites in your control and personally having significant religious authority, you could reform the Germanic faith a second time. The people may be even more skeptical than the first reformation. Wowee. We need 5,000 piety, 10,000 prestige. I say that as if that's a big deal anymore with this realm. Last guy's casually cracking out 150k like it's nothing. We need 10,000 personal wealth. And I mean, that's to, uh, got, a lot of, got a lot of contracts to sign, you know. And you have to control five holy sites so the journey continues a split timeline has emerged because steam cloud saves didn't work well thanks gaben they're a small indie company please don't blame him too much <laughs> yeah could be slightly closer to our goal had we not had to basically what the fuck Cass's bell i ended inconclusively because we no longer have the ability to holy war oh well that's stinky so back to being old germanic eh very simple compared to what we were before. We still have access to all of our regular good old stuff. Uh, we don't have mass blood sacrifices, but we can still, you know, go on Vikings and that type of thing. We've got the bloodline, of course, from, from that. So it's not really a big deal. It's an active Y. What do we need for that? Uh, we need bloodthirsty gods or follow the Aztec religion. That's okay. We don't worry about that one too much, I think. Wow. Okay. Okay, back to basics a little bit there. Of course, we are still part of Wolf Warriors because they're still uh, fundamentally a, a, a Germanic society. Should we recruit a cold physician? Sure, why not? No, we need to recruit a cold physician. What am I doing? There's, there's perhaps the... How does this work? Hold on. <laughs> Plutocratic Mosarian Republic. We are tribal. Sorry, I'm suppressing the hiccups. Please stand by. We're tribal, but a republic. That's illegal. We're not tribal, sorry. We're an unreformed pagan, but a republic. That's very illegal. That, that, you're definitely not allowed to do that. I suppose you can if, with the trade league society, right? Which I think is how we did it in the first place. Okay. What are the implications of this? Do I have to worry about us being an unreformed? I think the only difference is we can't join the Hermetic Society anymore. 
and there are some laws that will have changed. So status of women will have dropped back down, even though we've got the tolerance to raise it back up again. We'll just have to kind of manually go for that. So that's not such a big deal. Um, other than that, I think everything should be more or less the same. Right, so what was it we need again? 5,000 piety. That's going to be quite the challenge. That'll, that'll be really quite difficult. 10,000 prestige, so that's easy. That's child's play. Anybody can do that in five seconds flat. 10,000 gold. Again, that's like, a, that's like an afternoon of spending. And then five or more holy sites. So it's all down to the religious war for our religious character. Let's see what we can do. Was this an excuse to flash out the Han Horse mod? You're goddamn right it was. Oh, God, of course. Scottish Liberation Revolt. Oh, right. Okay, what's the revolt risk across the realm with all of that? Religious unrest for... Okay, luckily I only last the remainder of the month, but it's 20% revolt risk. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Our entire realm has to weather a hell of a storm throughout January. Wow. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Let's make sure these rebellions put down as fast as they've popped up here. Uh, no, no, no. You know what? We don't need you. Hold on. Sorry. Let's, let's focus one thing at a time here. Court Physician Luthor, of course. Got to get him on there. Uh, and then let's also sack our CRS. You're fired. We got this absolutely insane unit of a man. Why the fuck has he got 42 learning? <coughs> Base of 25. Base of 25? Well, I don't think I set that up to be 25, but I'll have to double check. I might have accidentally misplaced a digit there. Uh, must mind theologian, genius, ambitious, and of course, library gets the bonuses that we have in, in our realm. Fair enough. I like this guy. I like you. Uh, can we maybe marry him off? I mean, he's a priest, but I think because he's Germanic, we can still marry him off. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, we do have a daughter, but she's 42. Oh, no, sorry, a sister, but she's 42. We do have a daughter, but she's, like, really young, right? Hunchback. The Hunchback of Dong Eastland. <laughs> uh, burly, tall, hunchback. I mean, why not? It's going to be a little while yet. She's only six after all. A little weird, won't lie, but that's okay. He's a, he's a very powerful guy. Get him looking for the artifact. We'll lose progress, but we'll make up with his insane learning there. I don't require your services. And on the plus side here, look, we're already back to potentially going for that gathering again. Gunnar the Mona. This isn't the guy that we jeweled yesterday, but this guy is even worse. Honestly, Gunnar, this was too easy. We, we probably just killed Gunnar there. Infection, wounded, and severely injured. Minus two, minus three, minus... Yeah, so minus five in total. This guy is dead as dicks. And we are now here on the Wolf Warriors. Now, what does it mean for our legendary gathering again? Just 500 renown. If we kickstart that again, we've more than caught up with... Oh, no. We've more than caught up with where we were. Okay, one revolt after the other. Just take it, just take it carefully. That one's over in Denmark. And look, see, Luthor is immediately tracking down the artifact. Very good. Right, these guys are done. Let's head over to Denmark. I will check the revolt risk again in a second. It should be all cleared up by now. This one should be the last rally we have to worry about there. Hello. Uh, I'll sacrifice you off. Goodbye. Teach you a lesson. Okay, good shit. Balance is restored, etc., etc. Now, if we were to deal with the uh, French Queen, like I said, if we, if we were to somehow dethrone her, whether this rebellion might be able to do it, or if we were just to kind of kill her dead, that would split the entire realm, and we might be able to get all four holy sites in pretty quick succession. So let's start let's start bribing some some French realm members here. And let's see if we can. 62%. Yikes, that's pretty crappy. Uh, 3% there. Maybe this rebellion will will make her lose a lot of favor. What about a spy master? Oh, you're terrible. Hong Zhan of Digby Chicken Caesar? Absolutely, my friend. I need you overseeing a spy network in... That is where we're after, right? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Oh, it is. Right, okay, got it. Yeah, of course, that's rebellion over there. My bad. Right, let's get you... Building a spy network, that takes us up to 77%. That's not going to be enough, is it? Not enough to kill her dead anyway. Okay, what are we going to do with all those prisoners now? <laughs> it's not as if we're just going to mass sacrifice them anymore. Now, there's another reason. Oh, construction of gold plating is finished with Statue of Yuning. Great news. Now, there is another reason I've done all of this. The whole point of this series was, of course, 
It's a tutorial, more than anything else. But to roleplay the characters, just to have a bit of fun with, uh, with, with the individuals that this story would present us with. Uh, slight issue. Let me just get rid of these. Slight issue is uh, our guy has uh, Chan Philosophy. Chan Philosophy might not mean anything to you if I said Chan Philosophy, but if I said Zen, that might be a bit more... That uh, might have a bit more meaning associated with it. Chan just became uh, transliterated basically to Zen via Japanese. So this guy is supposed to be all, you know, Zen and meditative and mass sacrificing people, burning down holdings and going on religious holy wars probably don't really work too well with that i will admit it's quite difficult to play a character who's zen short of you know another brother love i get that we had a while back they're literally just going to a monastery and, and sitting around for a while i think there's really any way you can do that to be honest with you are you you still at war who, who are you at war with how long is this war going on for eight percent i think i am gonna cancel that i canceled it yesterday but i think i will cancel it again it was probably the right idea oh no yeah, another morning when I wake up feeling as tired as I went to bed. Perhaps I should do something about my listless mind. I'm reading Twitter at 3am. That would probably help. All right, here we go. There is 20% chance of us becoming temperate. You know what? That does kind of suit that whole Chan philosophy thing we've got going on. Didn't get it. It was a bit of a shame. I don't think we'll ever go off of the theology focus, given that that is this character's main drive in life. I think that makes a lot of sense. Our wife is Perganen. And she's the prodigy. Oh, Fantastic. Uh, of course I'll dedicate an entire festival to her. <gasps> the Ritual Hunt. Oh, is this the... Is this a legendary gathering? What is this? Tonight the Mead Hall has been inflamed with rumors of a great wolf. Oh, I know this one. Wandering through the forest near Dong Eastland. The man who spotted the beast claims that it is without doubt one of Fenrir's sons escaped from its frozen prison. The older members of that... What are they? Hattian Skull? I have no idea. Uh, the members of the lodge agree that as the Lord of Dying Island, it's my duty to track down and slay this beast. I could use you, Eric. Is Eric any good? 104 personal combat. Wow. Oh, we've got uh, Rugenvaldo, who's garbage. Or <laughs> I will need your skills. No, I will not. Or Falke. Uh 12. You know what? I think I'll take Eric, if that's okay. Eric the Suspicious. There's something about you, but I will. Uh, I'll take you along anyway. I don't think we needed anyone's help, but there wasn't an option for that. My wife could not have been more appropriate choice for this year's festival. She is a spitting image of Freya. And many of my vassals have taken a liking to her, collected and... What? I've taken a liking to her, collected and pious conduct during the course of the ceremony. I received quite a few compliments for choosing such a wise woman to be my wife. Wow. And she is pretty damn wise. Please give me that genius child. That would be incredible. While the Wolf Warriors appreciate good brawl, it is important we're always keeping in mind we what we should be fighting for. Oh, you want to stay the rulership focus? Uh, no? If that's okay? The ritual hunt. Before we leave for this perilous journey and slay the monster that's menacing my subjects, I want to make an offering to Odin to make sure I'm shielded from the preternatural powers of such a creature. Burn the best cattle from my stock, something of value, a small offering where I need no such protection. Burn our best cattle. Maybe this is a test and we need no such protection. Maybe just our faith will reward us. I think we're going to burn the cattle. The time has come. Oh, look, we've got a tattoo now. Wait, did we have that before? That's awesome. Time has come for us to loop the safe confines of civilization and venture forth into the dark demanding monster plaguing my lands. With Eric and Odin's protection, I'm sure to... Eric the Suspicious, you mean? I'm sure to track down this creature and put an end to the threat it poses to my subjects once and for all. Let the hunt begin. Wow. See, a Luther is making steady progress in the search for the artifact. Great news. The search for the Great Wolf has brought my expedition through a deep forest. Given that wandering aimlessly in an unmapped area would be a waste of time and put us at risk of losing our path, we're determined to find some trace of the beast before venturing any further. Our intrigue, or Eric's intrigue. Uh, I think we'll take our intrigue on that one, please. Thank you, Alex. I'll see how this goes. Ah! The Great Wolf is resting by a riverside. It's long snout red with dried up blood. Finding the beast at its weakest gives us a considerable advantage, yet we must also be careful not to underestimate this formidable opponent. Especially now we're so close to succeeding in our quest. Maybe. What the fuck kind of statistics are those, by the way? 0.40% chance of failing to slay the beast. I think I've ever seen a double used for... Percent. Ever. Wait. 0.40%. It must be like 0.4... 4% or 0.404% it's like rounding it down but leaving that digit in 
I have no idea. I've genuinely never seen that. Weird. Okay, death to the vile beast. 98% chance of saying it. Maybe this is in fact a metaphor of that old, dense, corrupted religion made by a mad Swedish king all those years ago. I'm not sure. But what I do know is we're going to kill this friggin' wolf. Maybe we'll hit that 0.40% chance. The great wolf fights to the very end, but we're soon able to corner it and pierce through its hide many times. Keeping the creature at bay with our spears and patiently wait for the bleeding to weaken it enough to strike again. I land the final blow through the wolf's skull, punish, pushing the creature on the ground, finally defeated. Do we go for a, a wolf's tooth relic? It's not, unfortunately, a real artifact. It is just kind of a kind of a symbolic thing there. Attrition minus 5%. That's pretty good. Personal combat skill plus 5 and 75 prestige. Burn its remains for 100 piety or bring the carcass back to my fellow warriors. Well, we are out here to try and get as much piety as possible, of course. Even, to be honest, getting 5,000 piety is going to be a struggle. So I think we'll take it. We will burn its remains. Again, very metaphorical at this point, I think. How close are we to... Did that count as any sort of honor? Nope. We're still at 216. Well, give it a while. We'll get there. Don't worry. We're actually next in line to society. Yeah, behind Eric the Suspicious. Also wants to go to China. Uh, Preferably a diplomat. Is that my wife? She's pregnant. I think that's a poor idea. Uh, let's send... Oh, God. Oh, shit. This is terrible. Go on, then. Send her off. Help her. Yeah, go on. You can leave. That's fine. You wonder why your courtesy is giving you strange looks today. One of your servants pointed out you had a large noticeable chunk of food wedged between your front teeth. No wonder you look ridiculous. Unreal. I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see how this, uh, how this babby will be formed. Here we go. Yuan Chong. Okay. It's a son. It's great news. Prodigy. Harsh. Wait, isn't our first kid? Oh, he's shrewd. Wait, what was our first kid? What the, uh, Yuan Tong Carol, Fred Ripson. I remember you. Steward, idolizer. We are educating him. He's, I mean, he's got shrewd. I can't complain about that. That's that's fantastic. Uh, I could have sworn we got a prodigy kid somewhere. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Uh, Yuan Chong, Fred Ripson. Fine, join me. Not very good, but I'll take it anyway. Let's go for... What a guy educate you in? I, I look, thrift always makes sense. Because it's a republic. Pride? Struggle? Oh, I mean, what's our character's traits here? Diligent, patient, ambitious. I feel like pride and struggle don't really suit him. Etiquette, humility. Maybe... Oh, but etiquette's pretty terrible. Because his behavior and... What's he going... What's, what's he going to be in our court? Well, he's not going to be our heir. He's going to be one of the many sons bolstering the Republic's trade posts, right? Adult male family members in court, zero. So we want to try and raise some family members to help take over some of the responsibility for that. So I'm going to go thrift. I'm going to go thrift and then actually maybe educate you now that I've remembered. That probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, here, someone train him. Zai, the Duke of Meath. Actually, this guy's incredible. There you go. Right, let's, let's improve relations with our vassals a little bit. Give them some responsibility here. Okay, I think the realm's looking fine, despite the fact that we did just have a bit of bit of religious issues there. Everything's looking okay, for sure. No, ignore the mistress. <laughs> I am planning on... You know, I'm going to write that down now, and I'm going to do it the second I'm done here today. I'm going to strip out some of the mods from this mod pack because they are inconsequential at best and broken at worst. We've already seen the the whole religious side of the, the, the breakages here. Kind of polish that up. Which I didn't get time to play the entire mod pack before I actually start the series, of course. It's just meant to be a, a quick dip into CK2 has ended up being kind of ridiculous at this stage. Most generous offer I will owe him. Hello, what do you teach my people? Uh, heavy infantry leader. That's actually fantastic news. Thank you. So dig me chicken Caesar. You will be in, in my debt. No, I will be in your debt for a while, my friend. How close? I just wish they'd give us a quest a bit more frequently. It seems to take so long just to get any renown. So now can we? How, how is it looking? Oh my god. Kranjai. My friend. That's gigantic. Thank you. How are we looking in France? I'm either waiting for her to be deposed. 38% in favor of Beatrice. You know what? Beatrice might actually have this. King Guy's claim on Germany. So that might split Germany and France, which would let us hopefully get either Saxony or uh, Zealand over here. We're going to have a fleeting. Shall we settle for nobody other than the best speaker? Of course. Cart in the short tempered. Bring it. 
Climbing that you are the best. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's go through all the options here rather than just the one that's glowing. I stand up and shout Kyoto's name in the dining hall, catch many more attention and challenge him to a fleeting. Now I only need to decide what subject will cut deeper under Kyoto's skin. No warrior's cowl is one between your legs. He's not lost while he's chased, so that probably won't work. Saying you're the dullest man I've ever met will give you too much credit. Works against envious and shy. He's craven. So you might be able to clap on one of those. Hard to find somebody with greater design than pretty and pettier goals. Ooh, and so his accomplishments. That's that's very that's very low tier. So we would lose prestige for that. That's that's a very uh cruel thing to do to someone. Ambitious and proud. Oh, he's neither of those either. Clement, you are the best that Refa can offer is but meager praise. Because we are cruel. We're gonna insult his family. We lose piety for that one. Tends to effect against kind opponents, though. Hit him hard. Krapow. Clap. Carton claims that he's scarcely seen a family spawn as many clueless and ugly children as the God Slayer line. He clapped back our Dynasty 2. He longs for the days he thought me to be an exception rather than the main example to this truth. As if I cared. Carton's words barely affected us. We spar with words for a while, but soon his face grows wrecked with rage and embarrassment, surrounded by the laughter of other warriors. Unable to put together a coherent response, he has lost the fleeting. For being such a child, getting a hundred renown, that's what we need. That pushes us basically there. Uh, it's all in good fun, Carlton. Don't be mad. No, no, no. He may challenge us to a duel for insulting him. He is called the short-tempered. Okay, he didn't go for it, though. All right. Uh, show me some of your best trophies. Focus on hunting. I'm sorry, I can't do that. We serve the gods. But look. In any second now. Oh, she's perking out again. Great news. And she's returned from the Jar Empire... With a sealed letter of greeting from the Protector General himself. Great news. Let's do it. Boom. We lose 500 now. Unlock the Society Legend Progress Bar. All members of the Society will begin to contribute to the Legend. And we will start Society Progress. There you go. We're doing on the old the old Galahorn there, I assume. Thank you, Mr. Skeletal. And we're ready. It begins. The Legend Bar. Take two. Maybe this time. Hopefully, we won't get our cheats clapped. The society's been growing massively recently, apparently. So I guess we'll... Uh, well, that's because of the amount of Germanic rulers that we, we've landed. We've pretty much had a, a big part in that, huh? But at peace for too long. Let's just go and burn some things down here. And there you go. Right on, uh, on, on cue there. More recruits. Famous writer proposes your family chronicles. Uh, no, we're here for piety. If we go for that, it's just prestige. But our humility leads to piety. We've got to go for it. We're a servant of the gods. We've got to get that piety going. It's going to offend our dynasty members. Fuck them. Oh, we just offended our dynasty members without getting anything to show for it. So that really wasn't worth it, huh? So we can't really go to war much anyway because we have 76 threat. Which means just about every Christian on the face of the planet would clap us if we tried it. Obviously, level 4 tolerance is what we went for yesterday. So we'll go ahead and repeat that one again. It's got the Imperial Academy. So that collapsed again, again. Great news. Fantastic. Byzantium is gone. And you know what? Pillaging of Berg has been very fruitful. Yeah, we'll take the thrall workers. Not they're massively relevant. The finger of St. Joseph. That's something I meant to write down to add back to the fantasy mod. Great idea. Got to, got, to, got to put that back on the list. What did the dungeon master? Hold on. <laughs> Where the fuck has he been all these years? I completely forgot about him. It's just like he's completely sidelined himself. Dungeon. It's like he's not here. Hello? Hmm. Guy's completely disappeared. What I'll do is I'll disable the Dungeon Master mod, load it into the game, save it, quit the game, set him back up, and hopefully he'll wake up and pop back in. I'll go through the save game, clear the, clear the flags too, and then hopefully that'll that'll wake him back up. Just occurred to me, we haven't heard from him in, in years at this point. Ah, well... Uh, no doubt we'll go through all this trouble, fix the religion through some convoluted event chain that I've made, and then a dungeon master will just pop up and ruin everything anyway. But you know what? If he does, I'm actually all right with that. I'll actually be completely okay with that. Actually, could we make an empire? Oh, yeah. We could just casually make an empire if we wanted to. I do want to make the North Sea Empire, but there obviously isn't an option for that. It'd be quite fun. Why can we not do that? Is that even base game or is that CK2+. Plus? Very few things I remember, but a lot to write down after today. We've begun our legendary gathering. We've caught up with what we had yesterday. And more importantly, a bit of religious upheaval. Apologies that this episode was essentially a 
kind of rehash a, a timeline split, but I'm not entirely sure what happened. I'm not going to just go ahead and manually. You can see where I tested it earlier. I'm just going to go ahead and manually save this uh, test just to make sure we don't lose another episode. What if like the internet was down or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's working now. Very bizarre, but hopefully it won't happen again. Fingers crossed here. Thank you all for watching. Let's see where this goes.